In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome to Catholic Television Network. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly consider subscribing and click the notification bell for weekly updates. And this is the homily for the solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary. My dearly beloved in Christ, a simple village carpenter in Nazareth is today being celebrated all over the world for his role as the spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary and the guardian of baby Jesus. Joseph is the patron saint of the Universal Church and today the Holy Mother Church celebrates this great and faithful servant whom the Lord has put in charge of his own household. God entrusted the care of the Savior to St. Joseph, who protected and provided for the Holy Family throughout his life. Today, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we interrupt the season of Lent with this great solemnity of St. Joseph, who, apart from Mary, is the greater saint in heaven. This solemnity started in the 5th century in the East, and it was until 1621 that it was extended to the whole Church. Pope Pius IX named St. Joseph the patron of the Universal Church in 1847. Today we therefore celebrate with joy the realization of the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus through Joseph who links Jesus to Davidic lineage. St. Joseph was entrusted the care of the Holy Family and the Church. The first reading today explains how God announced to David that Messiah will come from his descendants. The coming of Christ is therefore a fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies made from the time of Abraham. Joseph is the link to which we confidently say Jesus is the son of David. The Gospel of Matthew that we read today confirms the fact that Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Joseph therefore becomes a patriarch of the New Testament. God granted him extraordinary graces, even though he was an ordinary man. He demonstrated a high level of docility and acceptance of God's will when he was told of Mary's conception through the Holy Spirit. He also struggled to bring up his family, despite the poverty and hardships of Nazareth. The town of Nazareth, as we all know, was a poor village of peasants and not the Nazareth that we know today. This is confirmed by the kind of gifts they presented in the temple to prophet Simeon when they presented the baby Jesus. Joseph remained meditative and docile to the will of God even when Simeon in the temple prophesied of painful suffering and death of his son and the piercing of Mary with the lance. We are told of how he hurriedly took Mary and Jesus to Egypt to escape the wrath of Herod. He took care of his family as refugees in a foreign country and later returned them home when Herod died. A life of a refugee is normally difficult, and Joseph and the Holy Family experienced this when they had to run away for their life. Joseph was at the forefront in protecting the Holy Family against any harm. This protection is what St. Joseph is extending to the Church today and to all of us. St. Joseph is the protector of the Universal Church. 
just the way he protected the Holy Family. When we invoke him, he will continue to protect our families and protect our church. He does the same each and every day without getting tired. Joseph demonstrated a faithful love, loving faith, and confident hope. Today we are invited to renew our fidelity to God by expressing our faith, our love, and our hope, not only in words, but in actions. Joseph is a model of how we should joyfully and without a reservation leave our commitment in fulfilling the will of God. St. Joseph was good and faithful servant, and we are to imitate him in our work and in our families. The world today is full of unfaithful dictators and not faithful servants. We have leaders who want to dictate on others, but they are not ready to sacrifice for others. St. Joseph reminds us that once you are given a responsibility to take care of a group, to take care of a family, to take care of the community, you are to be their servant and be ready to go extra mile to ensure that they are safe. Joseph remained docile to the will of God. Today let us pray for our leaders that they may take with humility their roles and be ready to go an extra mile for the good of others and not personal selfish gains. We are called to persevere in our Christian vocation and ask for the gift of humility and courage in our resolve to do the will of God always. May St. Joseph help us to live faithfully our vocation and be guardians of the faith and help us change our sinful ways, which many times bring scandals in the church and in our brothers and sisters. Let us ask for this grace to always remain faithful, always be open to what God is asking of us. We pray today in a special way that as we celebrate the feast and the solemnity for that matter of St. Joseph, the Lord may listen graciously to our cry, the cry all over the world of a COVID-19 pandemic, that through the intercession of St. Joseph, God may bring to an end this pandemic which has horrified all of us for nearly two years now. We ask equally St. Joseph to protect us, to protect our families, to protect our church so that we may always stand firm in our faith knowing that we have a powerful intercessor in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Feast to you all.